Hi, it's Lynn from Lenny C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. Um, and I'm going to recreate this card for you today. And I'm using lovely framed florets and framed and festive stamp set. Now this is time limited, but this will be carrying over into the new catalog. And it comes with, at the moment, there's a bundle prize for framed florets dies. So that's what I'm using today. And it's very simple. Um, I'm just using basic white cardstock. This one I created for a colour challenge over at the Stamping Cove, um, which is a Facebook group run by my lovely upline, Emma Goddard. Um, aka the coastal crafter and this was a color challenge and this was cherry cobbler um, old olive and evening evergreen and i made this cute little christmas card and so it uses a technique called this looks like uh, gold the frame here but actually uh, this is heat embossed as is the sentiment um and using gold so i'm going to change the colorways today um and i'm going to use um silver embossing paste uh, embossing paste silver um embossing powder brain's not working today um and uh, we'll see how it goes i haven't tried it yet but I did think, um, so that's the technique, the faux metallic technique. And we do sell the powders in metallic. So if you buy the um, the embossing, the metallics embossing powders, you get gold, silver and copper. And I use metallics um, a lot. I think they add a little bit of a wow to our cards. But something that struck me actually is, does everybody, I, I don't know, I don't want to teach people to sell kegs, but somebody the other day didn't realise I create from a sheet of A4 paper, you can create two um, card bases at one time. So I'm going to score it at, at ten and a half and then rotate it to 14.8. And cut and you've got two card bases standard card bases ready to go excuse the clatter so um, this is what we're using for this card we've got the base thick basic white for the base I've got a little layer here which is just cut slightly smaller just so that there's a little board around that's going to be um, my topper and then I've got a sheet where I'm going to do some stamping and some die cutting um, before I do that though I'm just going to get this I'm going to use uh, you can use your trimmer but I use my scoreboard. Um, I'm hoping you can see this. I'm using, I'm hoping this is recording. I'm using a new phone. I've got a new toy. So, oh, fingers crossed it's working. Now, I'm going to score this. And I wanted to, just got a stray little bit of card there. Um, I wanted to create a little border around the edge i'm not sure if you can see that um and i'm just going to come in a quarter of an inch using the the you can use either end i'm using the thicker end of the score um tool and i'm just coming in a quarter um an eighth of an inch each time to get three rotate it and then i've i've marked it here so again coming in a quarter and do three score lines and just keep rotating until you've got all of them done and I find using this 
helps me be just a little bit more accurate with my scoring can you see that so you could have the debossed or the embossed side i'm having the debossed side i want it to be very subtle out of the way so that's done for the minute we're going to come to this which so I can do some stamping and because this stamp set is photopolymer I'm going to use my um, foam pad so memento ink because I'm going to color with blends And this was one of the cards actually we made in class as well um, in my November classes. And I gave my ladies this piece of card because it was big enough to do the stamping and the die cutting. I'm going to have that there come off there and not worry about that try not to get my head in the way i just want another pair of leaves there i'm going to do that and one big flower there we go and then that is a big enough space there to cut out our frame so that's fabulous keep that there and these are the colors that i'm going to use this time so i've got Orchid Oasis, Shaded, Star Shaded Spruce, Granny Apple Green and Knight of Navy. So um, just a slightly different, I thought they would go quite nice with silver. Um, but because I can, I've gone ahead and coloured these and cut them out. I didn't think you really wanted to see me colour them I'm very happy to if you want me to but uh, anyway the power of TV as they say um, so let's just bring in my little tray I'm going to bring in a bit of spare paper let's pop that out of the way so we're going to do some heat embossing now on the sentiment here I need to use my dust buddy on this panel here but I'm not worrying about it on that one and I will show you what I'm going to do so what sentiment shall we have let's see let's do is the season to be jolly? Didn't use this one yet. Ink that out. lovely and then in order to get this 
I'm going to stick that in the don't that paper directly into that ink and I'm not going to do all of it all in one go because you can then keep hold of it then let's just do this out of the way for the minute and the beauty with this technique is you can always go back and add a second layer if you want to so let me pop that back in there and I'm going to use my tweezers hold this down and use my tweezers to hold this down so it doesn't fly away see how quickly that actually went round once the tool is heated and that is really pretty I love that Ooh, that's the dirty one Ooh, it's got silver in, uh, gold embossing from class in it we still need to clean that off let's tap that bit in bits of paper in there I need to sort that out so and actually I think one pass is enough for that but that's how you get sort of faux metallic it looks like I've actually cut that out of foil doesn't it so now so what I'm gonna do oh I didn't heat that up silly silly Lynn nearly smudged that I think I've saved it saved it look at that I just think that adds such a bit of class to a project so we will I'm just going to glue this flat I'm being very mindful of postage so I'm just going to pop that up there just slightly towards the top just keeping an eye on it. Let's 
really just it doesn't matter it's swiveled a little bit as I did it that's fine Silicon mat, silicon mat out for that. And that just slots over the top very easily. Actually, on my original one, I die cut several and layered them just to give it a little bit of a raised, um, a raised effect. Yeah, I put enough glue on there. Let's just pop that down on there while I tidy up. Another, another use for our blocks. It doesn't take long. Um, and then we can re the. Oh, that looks really lovely. So what I might do actually with that. Let's get, we'll get some mini dimensionals. Yep. And I'm just going to put two in because one can go either side and then, yep, we can add another one under there fingers and thumbs give that a little bit of a shush and then for the center of the flowers um i added some of the enamel effects Let's just have a look. Yeah. So I'm going to attach attach the leaf with um, a dimensional. I'm going to lay that one flat, put a little bit of glue on there in the centre and then I can add that there. Ooh. I do hope this new camera is working alright. Pop that there and we're going to stick that under there lovely now because i'm going to use this pearlized enamel effects basics the white one um, it's best to put this on your card base because it needs time to dry so let's just get my bone solder and I'm just going to stick that on with some glue, some wet glue. Just being a bit careful about extra having to pay extra postage not that our postage is very good at the moment because uh, we've got lots of strikes happening here um, for a very good reason but playing havoc with our postage anyway these um, enamel effect basics you want to squeeze and then pull up Squeeze, pull up, and then you can, depending on how much you put on, 
you can have small rain small pearls or large um small or larger pearls so there we are two different colors what do you think thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it um i will be back hopefully next week take care stay safe bye for now